So then we had Team Raw against Team SmackDown. Nia, Shayna, Lana, Lacey, and Peyton versus Bianca, Ruby, Liv, Natty, and Bailey. So Lana's introduced last for her team, like she's the big star, and everyone's doing some spots for a while. There was actually a spot early on that was potentially a catastrophe, but it didn't happen. So Shayna's in there with Ruby, and the spot is Shayna's going to do this wild kick, and Ruby is going to duck. Ruby totally forgets to duck, and Shayna hits her right in the forehead with her shin. And they immediately went to it again, and this time Ruby ducked, and Ruby was just right up doing everything. It looked like she didn't even feel it, but she got clonked right in the head when she forgot to duck that first time. So Nia's in there, and Lana tags herself in, and she kind of does some stuff with Natty, and then she wants to get another tag, but nobody wants to allow her to tag out. And she's trying to get a tag, and nobody will tag her, so finally Nia tags her, and then she cuts a promo on her, and she says... Sit on those steps right there, and don't you dare tag into this match again. Stand on the steps. So Lana walks over. She stood on the steps. And she stood on the steps, and she starts crying. And she cried for the whole match, standing on those steps. I'm supposed to get behind her? It's, It's always been like this from the start. It's been the most unique and perplexing push of a person in history. I thought I'd seen it all, but the match keeps going. So everyone ends up outside. Peyton gives Bailey a superplex off the post onto the pile. There's six women out there, and, and they somehow part like her. the Red Sea, <laughs> and, and Bailey, Bailey just... smashes on the ground. Poor Bailey. She landed like, with her butt oh. right on the ground, her butt and her back right on the ground when you had, like, how many people six there to catch Six women her? out there. God. Six. It's like, it's like, how did this happen? I'm watching this going, like, how does this happen? I mean, it's like she just clunked right on the floor, and there's all these people who are, you know, right there. They should be, aren't you supposed to like stay together? Like you don't have a hole in the in the in the pack when you do the spot. Yes, there is not supposed to be a hole in the pack of people catching you. And Ooh, I want to do a correction. Spot. There were seven people out there to catch him. Oh man! So Peyton then throws Bailey in the ring, hits her finish, and Peyton pins Bailey. So Bailey has been eliminated, and then immediately Natty gets in, stomps right on Peyton's boob, and puts her in a sharpshooter and submits her. So that did a lot of good. Lana's still standing there crying. Isn't isn't that like when you really think about it? You know, madness. Yes. Yeah, because because this is like if Peyton Royce is going to beat Bailey. Okay, and you're, you're you know, and you can do it in a match like this. And it's she fine. needs to go to the end at least. Well, she needs to she needs to beat two or three more people, and she needs to be there at the end. And if she's not going to win, she's not going to win, and all this. But give her some momentum. She beats Bailey, and then she gets beat right away. You have accomplished nothing, but you beat Bailey and and got nothing out of it. So Bianca lays out Lacey. She goes up top. Actually, no, sorry. First, Natty tries to put the sharpshooter on uh, somebody, but Lacey punches her and eliminates Natty. So then Bianca and Lacey are brawling up top, and Shayna ends up putting the choke on Ruby, but Ruby reverses into a cradle. The referee is distracted, and by the time he turns around, Ruby had Shayna pinned, but now she's unconscious, and Shayna pins her. That was a very clever elimination. I like Mm -hmm. that one a lot. Liv runs wild on Lacey, pins her with a crucifix bomb. Nia kills Liv with a Samoan drop, eliminates her. So it comes down to Bianca all by herself against Nia and Shayna with Lana standing on the steps. Like, at that point, shouldn't, like, Bianca win for sure? Well, you know what? If this is my company, absolutely positively without question, Bianca wins for sure. I mean, I'm but watching this going like this is, and and it's great. It's like that's that's the momentum boost that she could use right now, you know, to to break her from the pack and to tell everyone that like she's something special. Beating Shayna and Nia, who've been protected like crazy for months, um, and then whatever you do with Lana, you do with Lana. But no, they've got to be cute and have Lana win. Bianca runs wild, and Shayna puts her in the choke, and Bianca powers out and makes the ropes, but then she goes unconscious. And so the referee says, you got to break, Shayna. Shayna says, she's unconscious, I should be the winner. The ref counts anyway and disqualifies Shayna. So 
this unconscious body is in the ring of Bianca Belair. And Nia goes after her. She goes to put Bianca through the announce table. Bianca fights back. Post Nia. They fight on the outside. And all of a sudden the ref goes, eight, nine, ten. And he counts them out. And then they say, the winner of this match and the sole survivor, Lana. And Lana, who did nothing to deserve this win, she stood on the steps for 15 minutes and won because everybody else eliminated themselves. She gets in the ring and she starts celebrating like she won the world title. I'm the sole survivor! She's freaking out. I thought, you have got to be kidding me. That's what you came up with? That's what you came up with? To have Lana be the sole survivor? She lucked into it by standing and crying on the steps? And she's supposed to be over in a baby face? Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. I watched it too. It's one of the dumbest things I ever saw. I, I, after seeing the Battle Royal, I just thought it was par for the course. The entire storyline was that nobody on the th- team wanted her there, and they thought she didn't belong. So, so she's going to win. all you Isn't... have to know, Dave, it's not about winning. It's about showing that she belongs. That's Whatever. the key. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, this is the way that they push her. It's like ridiculous. Of course it's ridiculous. But, but my ridiculous point them. is, with their story, they could have made this work if she would have actually done something to win. And proven that she belonged. That's the whole story. Bianca should have won, and Lana should have just... Lana should have maybe gotten one good win, one good I realize Bianca should have won. But if if Vince comes up to you, Dave, and he says, Lana's the sole survivor. Dude, she needs to prove that she belonged. That's the only key to this story. But here's the problem. She's going to win, which means she has to beat Bianca. I would go, how the fuck do I get out of this just like they did? And he'd say, you're fired. Now, Bruce, I want Lana to go over. And then Bruce would do... And then he does this dumb shit. He's going to... That's exactly what they come up with. I'm sure they're sitting there going like, well, there's no way in hell we're going to have Lana beat Bianca Belair. There's no way. So how do we get out of this? Well, this is how we get out of it. We don't... What in the fuck kind of stupid company is it where they don't want to beat Bianca Belair, but at the end of the day, they do so that they could put Lana over by standing on the steps? They didn't beat her. Dave, did she win? No, but they didn't beat her. Then they beat her. No, 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 no. If they didn't want to beat her, she should have won. And all you have to have Lana do is put Nia through a table and everything's fine. Obviously, she should have won. Why is this so hard? Because they wanted Lana it's to win. It's fake, and they're booking it. Because they wanted Lana to win, and they didn't want to beat Bianca, and they couldn't figure out a way out other than what they did, which is to freaking do a double count out and Lana's last So they're the so survivor. dumb they couldn't figure out maybe don't put Bianca in the match, or maybe don't have Lana win. Like, they they were just oh. trapped? In a they, fake sport where you the guy in charge is called a pencil because he erases and rewrites stuff. This guy's so dumb... That he pokes himself into this corner and can't figure out a way out. How many times? I know it happens the, on every that's show, par but for dude, the course. how many times? Do, how many times do we watch a match where they do a, a cheap DQ because they don't want to beat anybody? That's just common where for are them. these investors when I need them? Why are they not asking questions about this guy's competence? Because because he has the reputation of being the all knowing. He had a reputation in 1997. It's 2020. Yeah. So. He's had, he's, so, he still has what's his rep. reputation he's, over the last 10 years, 15 years? He's got the rep in Wall Street where they think that he's... Now, this what is, are these okay. investors all 90? They have no young people that have only watched wrestling for the last 10 years and could see the incompetence on every show? Well, they are starting. You, the, the, first, the, last, the last two conference calls are the first two ones where they have asked, like, what's the deal with the ratings? And why is the other company's ratings staying steady while ours are dropping? You know, I mean, and, and it's like, what are you going to do about the ratings, Vince? And like, thank God they freaking got out of that performance center, because if they didn't, they would be those ratings would be looking really ugly right now. But they got in a nice new building and the ratings are doing better. And and Smackdown's actually a good show right now. So, you know, I mean, but yeah, they're they're They, they absolutely put they, they absolutely are holding him to it, you know, because he said, as soon as we get fans back, 
in in a couple months after we get fans back, our numbers will be exactly where they were before. Which dude, will, get out of here, buddy. This we is like see. it's like one thing. Let's say that they take you. Let's say your kids take you to like a corn maze. My you know what a kids. corn maze is? A corn maze. Okay, so I go to a maze. Yes. All right, so if you go in it and you can't find your way out, like okay, whatever. But this is a company where they're building the maze and they're building a maze with no way out, and then they're like all confused. I guess I don't know. I just look. I saw the once I saw the battle royal. This was just kind of like, well, this is just what they do. You know, it's like dumbest whatever. thing I've ever seen. It's way up there. They do plenty of things dumber than this. Oh, but, this was way up there. But but I, I I just thought that the last few minutes of this match just fell apart. I mean that 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 honestly, I thought the Shayna Baszler finish was 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 just as dumb as the double count out. It's just like yeah, she chokes this person completely unconscious. The and ref's like, we well, gotta let go of the hold, buddy. It's like it's like like she wouldn't know to get let go of the hold, whatever. Not um, only that, like okay, so she got but DQ'd. They had a, it's like it's like it's like here's the thing. It's like okay, I, I'll, I'll go with the idea that that we have to protect Bianca Belair, and this was their way of protecting. Okay, but they it's like they really didn't have to protect Shayna in the sense of Bianca Belair could have pinned Shayna, and it actually would have helped Bianca Belair kind of a lot. Like she gets out like. You know, they could do that thing where she's in the choke and Bianca, cra you know, turns over and cradles her from there and w while still in the choke and, and gets the cradle pin. So you've kind of protected Shane a little bit. She had the choke, but her shoulders were down and she just didn't realize it. Not that she didn't realize it, but that you, the quick cradle thing. And then Bianca gets something for beating Shayna. She's still getting counted out anyway. And you don't have to do that stupid five count DQ. That one, now that one they could have done no problem, but they didn't do that either. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.